Good morning, everybody. It is the 1st of July, so I just wanted to privately come on here and welcome you to a new month. I always love on this channel to welcome a new month in, new month of opportunity, new month of adventure for me. If you're just joining the vlogs, welcome. My name is Kyra. I'm currently traveling Europe with my mother, Cheryl, or I call her Masha. And currently we are in the Highlands of Scotland. Today we're waking up in Inverness. We are doing a full day of hiking today. Absolutely beautiful scenery is on the cards today. I'm so excited excited. The agenda for the day looks amazing. So it's going to be quite a visual treat today. I'm so loving Scotland in general. I love it here and I'm so excited to bring in a new month. I can't believe June went by so fast because we've been traveling the whole month of June. But of course time goes on and I'm so excited to welcome in July. It is full summer here in the northern hemisphere. Back home where I live in New Zealand it's still winter so definitely happy to be where the warmer weather is and the days are so long here. The sun doesn't set till like 11 11 11 30 here in Scotland because here in the Highlands we are of course very north. I just absolutely fell in love with the countryside here in Scotland so I definitely am already planning my return here to Scotland. I'd love to go back to the Isle of Skye because that just is incredible otherworldly scenery. Just absolutely a must do if you ever come to Scotland. Make your way to the Isle of Skye because you will not regret it. But I'm gonna go downstairs and grab some breakfast before we head out for the day. I hope you're doing okay guys. I hope you're well. Hopefully you're enjoying yourself and welcome to July. I know when you're watching this it won't be July but for me, it is a full European summer and I'm very happy about it. I will talk to you guys in the next update. Bye! Our second walk of the day which is to a beautiful gorge i can't say the scottish name but i'll insert the name here and just the forest the beautiful greenery this is a really good day masha had to sit this one out she's having problems with her shoes giving her sore feet so i'm solo on this one but honestly it's such a beautiful walk i'm just enjoying the nice scottish nature with a wee bit of rain Look, don't touch. Especially don't eat. They're highly poisonous. They also use some the uh, drugs in there for heart medicine. So they're very, very pretty. Oh. 
called again? Castle. And this castle was Arctic Castle. Arctic castle. So there, and then you've got the little walk. Basically, you go past there, you go down the blue trail, round the blue trail. The different sedimentary rocks in the years. Oh, cool! hike on an ancient crag that has rock dating back 600 million years ago. We've got fossilized things embedded in the rock. What makes this so unique is that the old rock, which is typically on the bottom, is actually on the top and the young rocks are on the bottom and that's due to tectonic shifting plates. So tectonic plates shifting here in Scotland and this whole crag well, actually, most of Scotland is always shifting because of these plates are constantly moving. And I'm shouting a little because there's a stream right there of water. But how cool, all this history, beautiful view. Lovely, lovely to walk here today. Chips. Tea to warm up because look at the weather out there. And you can't even see the view anymore. And look at the potatoes. Yeah, the chips look good. Hand cut chips. And this is a tuna melt panini. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. <laughs> <laughs> Come. We're gonna get Slaver Dog. Uh, a Slaver Dog? Really? Slaver Dog. Uh, What's her name? It's Kita. Q U I T A. Kita. Kita. Right, so if you Kita. want some, you can, you can just take some pellets and hold your hand out. Okay, Kita. Kita. <laughs> <laughs> you go, you go. See, see how I, uh, I, I missed that one. No, no. Kita. Uh, no. No, they were all originally black. Every of them, they were all black. Some tans, some browns. Very few gingers. The Highlands said to the farmers how much she loved the ginger ones. So the farmers started to believe them to be ginger.
is Loch Ness behind us. And we're about to hear the tale of, of the, the Loch Ness, Ness monster, Nessie, from oh. Stephen, the Scotsman. Now, yeah. the story goes that St. Columba was driving around Scotland after being kicked out of Ireland. Hi guys. Hi guys! We're into the final hours of our Scotland trip. Actually, the final hours of our entire European 2023 trip. Yes, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm really looking forward to going home because it's been a great adventure. However, I'm one of these people that love her bed in Canada and I love my home in native land. And happy Canada Day to yeah, Canadian happy people. Ca I forgot to say that earlier. Yeah, it's Happy Canada Day. Yeah, it's July 1st. 1st but of July. It's been such a good tour. Like, Steve is incredible he's awesome like he is hands down worthy of a private hire for you to be toured around in scotland mm. and if you need any details you please feel free to reach out to kyra in the comments if you want to get an inside view of the highlands of scotland he's his incredible knowledge is captivating but it's also he's funny he's got a dry, a dry sense of humor he the scottish oh, bro yeah we just laughed and laughed and he knows everyone he knows all the secret spots where the tours don't he go. He goes off the agenda, yes. adds on extra stops, depending yeah. on the dynamic of the group and how we're doing for the day. And he's so sensitive. Like, I have issues with my knee, and I'm scheduled for surgery within another year on my right, right leg. Kyra and I were talking earlier, and she mentioned to me that, you know, Steve is just so thoughtful. He's gone over and beyond uh, what he had to do. And that's the Scottish way, and that's why I love this country. If I I had to say that out of the five countries we've been to, Scotland is the top one. Number one. Yeah, for number me as one. Well. Yeah, and I don't know what it is about it. We just uh, feel a connection here that's stronger than any of the other countries. Mm -hmm. Well, what she was saying with her knee is that he went out of his way to keep dropping off myself and mom as close to our accommodation as possible, so she didn't have to walk with her luggage. Yeah, and then he was always picking it up for me, and he was he, all over it, even without having to ask yes. him for extra help. Yeah, he was just so accommodating, and I just really highly recommend Harry Koo Harry Tours. Koo Tours. And They're like this is coming from someone that's highly jaded from horrible group tour experiences. I think the key for me for a group tour is probably to go with someone I know so that I always have a safe buddy who has my back. Yeah. And then also go for short. Short tours are better tours. Yes. Because there are people on this tour that we do not like and we're happy to say goodbye to them, but it's only five days. So you don't have to put up with them for yes. a very long time. And it's just during the day and it's, and you know, he's you have got- have your evenings to yourself. Yeah. There's no expectation to hang out as a group because you're here with your people already. Although we did hang out with two ladies last night. We had dinner with them from yeah. the tour because they're just awesome ladies. So yeah. you can make friends, but there's no expectation to make it a group thing. Okay, so I'll just do a quick overview of today. We had a really full day today. It was a lot of walking outside and it was absolutely beautiful, but the weather just played up a little bit. It was like <laughs> raining and then sunny and raining and sunny. Today, we at least got a mix up. Sometimes it would be sunny skies. We started off with this hike to a waterfall, Rogi Falls, and it was like, oh, I don't need a raincoat. There's <laughs> blue sky and sun and then all of a sudden halfway through our walk it rained and, and we were I didn't being have pelted i didn't have a coat yeah so here i am racing uphill to get back to the van because i didn't have a raincoat so after that every stop i took my raincoat and an umbrella that's a necessity like literally we've learned how to travel scotland when we do come back because we are going to come back yes we are going to bring waterproof clothing y yes that's high, pants, higher quality like you need a scarves. high grade waterproof coat yes. that'd be the number one thing if you're coming to scotland it has to be a high grade waterproof coat yes. because my coat is waterproof but not high grade and it started to seep through after a while right so it needs to be high grade and waterproof shoes 100 percent. we had waterproof shoes so we were good there yes if you want to go somewhere where it's sunny and there's no rain then then don't come to scotland go to the mediterranean go to go to the mediterranean go yeah. to our first part of our vlogs is croatia yeah, croatia but you know what when you come to we were really realistic when we knew what we were coming into with the open mind to scotland we knew it was going to be rainy windy um unpredictable yeah. and and we brought the clothes for them we've yeah. learned a lot of things oh this trip. yeah we know what we want to do better next time we know where we want to return because and the next so time beautiful. we come we're gonna hire steven 
to For do a our private, private tour. tour. Yeah, he's going to be our... Because then he yeah. can go off book and drive and take us wherever we want. And that, yeah. I feel like that's going to be awesome. And the views today were Done. his favorite. He said the views we saw today were awesome. I mean, what do you think? You saw the footage. It was absolutely beautiful. And you know, when you're driving, it's just pure beauty. It's God's country here. Yeah. It's incredible, the history here. I think the standout for me was probably that ancient crag because the rocks were just awesome. And that was where scientists, geologists discovered how mountains were formed. Yes. Which I talked a bit about how the tectonic plates are always moving here in Scotland. And they just shoved up all these old stones mixing with the young ones. And that's how mountains are created. So I think that was pretty cool to see, but it was really windy there. But we have one more day, so we're not saying goodbye yet, but we just wanted to give you some thoughts on what we've learned in the last five days here in Scotland. Tomorrow's the last day. We're heading back to Edinburgh and we have another full day. I think the tour starts, yeah, 8.30 a.m. We're gonna start moving here from Inverness because we're still here in Inverness for the night and we're gonna end up eventually in Edinburgh. And also I was gonna say, I just one more final thought for today. I, I'm proud to say that I'm finally darker than Kyra. <laughs> 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 and with that we will talk to you tomorrow and we're gonna have to say goodbye and end these european 2023 summer trip vlogs wow wow what a journey it's been great journey don't forget to thumbs it up tell everybody you know subscribe if you're not and remember that we sending our love and many blessings to you all bye Here's Stephen moaning about something else. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It is the 2nd of July, and we are starting our day, our final day on the Harry Koo tour at the Clava Cairns, which is a 4,000-year-old burial site, which is prehistoric. You know, we don't really know why they did these formations, but we do know it's a burial place, it's graves, because they found skeletons. So that's what we're gonna start the day off with today. And this place was the inspiration for Clegg Madoon in Outlander because that rock formation where Claire goes into the past, that doesn't actually exist, but this was the inspiration for that. But how old are you? I'm 31. You're dead. Why? But everyone thinks they're going back in time to Claire. Women's life expectancy was 25 to 30 years old. Wow. Most of them died in childbirth. So apparently in reality, if you were to go back in time like Claire did in Outlander. It would be a horrible time. Very dirty, smelly, and just uncivilized, really. A lot of killing, a lot of murder. And I would have already been dead by now because women didn't live that long. There was no modern medicine. Women only lived to like 30, 35, and they would have had like a child every single year, which sounds like a nightmare. So I'm good, I'm good to stay here. And men smelled like urine all the time. Ew. Oh, it's soggy in here. <laughs> I wonder how many bodies are in here. Okay, we are inside this prehistoric, unexplained structure, which we're, like I said, we're only assuming from an educated guest that it has something to do with religion and burial, something. But 4,000 years ago, who knew what they were doing? Nothing happened. You realize? Oh no, here comes, here comes trouble. Wrong stone. <laughs> <laughs>this is the Battle of Culloden. If you didn't know, it was basically the end of the Highland Scots way of life. The English won over the Jacobites and it was a bloody, bloody war. Absolutely bloody, bloody war. That's the front line of the Duke, like the English, and this over there was the front line, the blue flags of the Jacobites. The Jacobites got slaughtered and that was it. It was the end of clan Highland life. So this was a very bloody, brutal battle here. So I'm just walking along the trails of the Battle of Culloden.
walk through the battlefield here. for our lunch break today. It's a beautiful town, a lot of history here. The buildings are just absolutely gorgeous everywhere. It's just a beautiful place to be. So we have a little bit of time to explore and get some food. Crossing opened in 1964. That is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, one of three in Edinburgh, the other being the old and the new town. Six million rivets, railway bridge, wow. still in use today. And that wraps up our time in the Bonnie Scotland as well as our summer European 2023 trip. On our way back to Edinburgh, we visited Clava Cairns. I especially enjoyed this site because as an Outlander TV show fan, this was where they filmed the fictional standing stone scenes, the mystical spot where Claire was first brought back in time. And I can confirm, I did not go back in time when I touched the stones, nor did I meet my own Jamie, unfortunately. We visited the Culloden battlefield to remember and commemorate the bloody end of the Jacobite Rising in April 1746. Many perished in battle here, including British soldiers and clansmen died fighting for their way of life and homeland. Our last stop was in St. Andrews. It's a quaint wee town known for its many golf courses, the St. Andrews Castle, and we also visited a local whiskey distillery. We did a whiskey tasting and I can confidently say that Scottish whiskey is not my type of drink. It's so strong, I had to keep watering it down during the tasting to actually drink it. I feel like I've just offended a lot of Scotsmen there. Bonk. Masha and I arrived back in Edinburgh, so full of love for Scotland, especially the Highlands. Special shout out to our amazing tour guide Stephen, who really made the trip so special for both of us. But don't tell him I said that. We spent the night in the lovely city of Edinburgh. Seriously, we both love this city. We took the tram to the airport the next morning and spent some time in an airport lounge before flying back to Ottawa, Canada. And just like that, our trip came to an end. We're honestly both so full of gratitude for this European holiday and for all of the amazing experiences we had. Our time away flew by, but I was so happy to be traveling with my best friend, my mom. I can't wait for our next adventure together. If you liked this video, then please subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!